Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And don't know if you caught it, but one of the biggest music controversies of the year hit this past holiday week. I think got swept in under the ruckus of the holiday weekend a little bit. But as Consequence of Sound and many other outlets have been reporting, a rapper, singer, songwriter, no name, says that she may not be interested in making music anymore. She is certainly not interested in performing for mostly white audiences. Uh, in a now-deleted series of tweets, which are collected on this Consequence of Sound article, uh, she says, this first one uh, had an image of a clown, a woman dressed as a clown, and or just really putting on clown makeup. And in reference to that image, she's saying, me consistently creating content that is primarily consumed by a white audience who would rather shit on me than challenge their liberalism because somehow liking Lizzo's music absolves them of their racist tendencies. Then she goes on to respond to this idea that uh, black listeners aren't going to her shows because of financial restraints, uh, saying, well, black listeners show up to DaBaby and Megan and Smino shows. Uh, then she says, what's funny is most black artists are just as uncomfortable performing for majority white crowds, but would never publicly say that out of fear and allegiance to money, which isn't a bad thing because people have to eat and y'all wouldn't be up in arms if I quit working at McDonald's. She goes on to say she doesn't want to continue performing for predominantly white audiences, a few more shows, and then after that, uh, music seems pretty done for her. In another tweet that is not cited here, she goes on to say that... Uh, uh, touring is a primary mode for making money doing what she does, and if she's not going to continue performing, then she's not going to have the money or the interest to continue making records which cost thousands of dollars to produce. And I believe this is still the case, but uh, No Name is an independent artist. Her last record and Telephone before that uh, are out under her own name. So uh, uh, she, I understand, is the one footing the bill for these records since they're not coming out uh, on Def Jam, they're not coming out uh, via some other major label. So with the understanding of how controversial everything No Name has said here is, this is my response. And keep in mind, I'm not trying to get into the weeds of whether or not what she said is racist or try to white splain to her uh, what the facts of the situation are. I'm not interested in either. In fact, I don't really challenge what she feels to be the facts of the situation. This is her music. This is her audience. These are her performances. She knows and understands those better than I ever could. And I agree, it's incredibly likely at this point for a bulk of her audience to be wildly out of touch with the origins of hip-hop. And while you could chalk it up to whiteness to one degree or another, this is a growing pain, this is a struggle many artists end up going through as their audience expands in such a way where a majority of people or even a great deal of people consuming what you do uh, are kind of casually approaching it. Granted, No Name's version of this experience is very, very specific to her and her identity, but she is far from the first artist to find that as she gets more exposure, as she gets more accolades and praise coming from every direction, a great deal of the people listening to your music now uh, are not rooted in the same understanding of reality as you, don't have the same political opinions as you, don't have the same identity that you do. Which leads me to the ultimate point of this video that unfortunately, you can't really choose your audience or how your audience chooses to interpret the music that you make. I guess you could try to offend or attack portions of your audience into unfollowing, but that's a really risky move. Uh, you can't necessarily just relegate that offense to certain segments of people because obviously there are black listeners in No Name's audience who were unhappy with her comments. And often going this route does not get you the ideal results that you were seeking in the first place anyway. And again, this is a weird and awkward growing pain that a lot of artists and content creators go through, especially rappers in more alternative spaces, which for decades has just attracted white listeners like magnets, whether you're talking about recent examples Examples like No Name or JPEG Mafia, or even dialing it back to all the backpack rappers throughout the 2000s who had tons of radical lyrics and songs, uh, and, and a bulk of those messages were just being received by white audiences who wanted to hear some underground shit. But look, this is one of the many results that you get when you commodify 
art. It's marketed and disseminated to appeal to the widest number of people possible. It's not just put out there for everyone who gets it. Plus, there are instances in which being a black artist performing for a white audience can be kind of radical. You don't really need to look much further than the example of JPEG Mafia, who, yes, does perform for quite a few white people on his tours, but the dude has lyrics that are purposefully supposed to make white people uncomfortable. The dude calls out racism at his shows pretty unapologetically. He doesn't really care who he makes uncomfortable, even racists, at his gigs. So, ultimately, do I think No Name said the wrong thing here? Do I think it was a bad look? <laughs> Yes, I think it's all a pretty regrettable statement. I would hope that her deleting this uh, means that she's retracting a little bit here and maybe is having a change of heart because everything she said comes off pretty callous, pretty unappreciative, and that is a charitable interpretation of what went on here. But because I do enjoy No Name's music, I would like to see her continue. I think the hip hop landscape looks better with her than without her. And even within the confines she's being pressured to work within, I hope she understands that, look, there are people who do get it. There are people who do identify with you and what you do matters a whole lot to them. And maintaining your platform gives you more of an ability to create the change that you want to see than knocking it down and giving it up entirely because it didn't quite pan out 100% the way you expected. I only want to see No Name do this if making music and performing actually makes her happy and she's able to work it out in a way where she is uh, pleased with what she's doing, she's passionate about what she's doing. Hopefully a positive outcome rises from all of this for No Name, her listeners, and even the people who she offended uh, in the process of posting these tweets. And I think I will leave it at that. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, No Name, audiences, uh, forever.